Hello everyone, my name is Michael and welcome to another episode in this Puppeteer tutorial series. In this episode, we will see how we can use infinite scrolling in Puppeteer so we can scrub, for example, products that load like that. So here we have a demo page and let's say those are products and whenever you scroll down, more and more load. So what we can do is make our script to scroll until the end or until X amount of scrolls or items and then save those items. So yeah, let's see how we can do that. So as you see right here, we have a demo page and every time I scroll to the bottom of the page, more products are loading. So what I want to do is make a script which will scroll, for example, 20 times or get X amount of items. So each time it will scroll, it will get the new items. It will count them. Are they 70? If they are not, it will scroll down again until it grabs the X amount of products. Let's say, for example, 70. And then it will stop. If you'd like to get all of the items, sometimes they never end. And the issue with that is if they don't end, if we keep scrolling down, sometime we will end out of memory ram memory because our browser can load so much right so as it keeps loading more and more html code our memory will become smaller and smaller so you have to put a target to do your script so you can say for example okay grab 100 items scroll until 100 items are visible and then scrap them so yeah let's see on code how we can do that so now like always we will go in our puppeteer repository which you can download from my github repository link down in the description and what we will do is create a new file and let's name it infinite underscore scrolling dot js and here first of all let's require puppeteer and then run a demo and there we go so for our demo we will open this page and let's remove that because we don't want the browser to close and yeah let's run our script so we will do node and then infinite underscore scrolling dot js and we got an error okay so i had to delete node modules and then reinstall them so with mpmi so let's run our script again and there we go so we do visit the page and as you see everything works so the next thing we have to do is create a function which will take our page as a parameter and then keep scrolling down to the end of the page so let's see how we can do that so first of all let's say const create infinite troll and then we can say items because we will need to scrape the items now this can be asynchronous because it has to be asynchronous and as a parameter we can pass the page and then we can do something like that so first of all we store the previous height by getting the scroll height from the body using page.evaluate so page.evaluate let us run javascript and then by running that it would, it, we will get the value of what we run so basically we get the current page height so it can be 1000 pixels 1200 pixels whatever that is next we scroll down to the end of the page so if the page for example is 1200 pixels we will scroll down until we reach 1200 pixels by doing that, we trigger this loading right here, this loading effect, which will load more products. Then we say, okay, let's wait for, the, for this function. And what this basically does, let's wait until the height of the page is bigger than the previous page. So you basically wait for this loading function to work. And then we wait for one second or something like that until the products actually load. Now you can adjust that or you can is wait for a certain selector but right now that's not that useful so I suggest you just use a timeout so you can wait for one second, two seconds, you can try it out and see what works for you. One second works great for us and then what we want to do is put that in a while true. So while something is true, keep doing that. So keep scrolling down and again scrolling down wait for the products scroll down wait for the products so yeah let's test it out so first of all we have to take this one right here and pass it down here there we go so let's run our script and as you see right here we keep scrolling down scroll down and we basically get the new products again those are not products just have in mind those probably most likely will be products 
or items. So if you are scrapping Reddit, for example, you can keep scrolling down and grab the new posts, the new posts, etc., etc. So we keep doing that forever. Now let's say we want to only get, for example, the first one 100 products. So first of all, we will import it right here. So we can say item target count. Then right here, we can say let items equals to an empty array. So we can define items as an empty array. And now let's go back to our page and see, click right here to inspect. And in our case, we just want to get all the text, right? So we want to get infinite scroll box 76, infinite scroll box 77, and basically all the text. So first of all, we will click copy, then copy and come selector. And right here, as you see, our selector is hashtag boxes and then the div. So what we can say is we can query selector and get all the items that match this selector. So how we can do that is we can say const extracted items equals and then we can say document and we can say await page dot evaluate and then we can say const items and we create an array from our query selector and here we will pass our selector so it will be just this part and then we will return our items but but by the way for each item we want to get the inner text there we go that way we can get the text now if you have for example if you are scrapping reddit here you can return an object for example and you can say name for example or title so the title of that item and then you can query selector again and get and here you can use the selector for your title your description and any other details that you want to get and then get the inner text or anything else that you want to get so now let's go back there we go and yeah basically that's it then we, what we want to do is we can say items equals to that so we don't have to do that we just we can just say items equals to that and now every time this run items will update so yeah let's test it out now to make sure it works we can say console.log and then items to make sure we actually get the text and then afterwards we can say console.log items.length now we have set here while to true and this will basically never end so here now we can use our item target count and we can say while item target count is bigger than the items length run but when it's the same thing or it's or the items of length are more then stop so yeah let's test it out and for starters we have zero actually have we defined no we haven't okay so we have to define now the item target count so let's pass that as a parameter so we can say 100 and yeah let's test it out so now until 100 items are sewn we will not get anything but then once 100 items are scrapped then we should get the results here so let's see and there we go so you see we got an array of 100 items basically the title for each item and then we also get that we actually got 100 items for for a finished touch what we can do is save the items locally so let's require fs and right here after we get the items we can return them so we can say return items on our function we can delete that and here we can say const items equals to that and then we can save our items in a json by doing that so we can say write file we will create an items.json file and then we will make our json to a string and save that so let's test it out and there we go so it almost finished and now the browser will not close because we have not set it to close but if we go to items.json there we go i can format it and yeah well, there we go so all our items are saved on our json file so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the description if you have any questions also let me know if you enjoyed this video by hitting the like button subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of my future videos and also share this video with your friends so they also learn how to utilize infinite scrolling with puppeteer and finally you can join our discord server and I created that Discord server so we can help each other out. So yeah, make sure you join the Discord server. And yeah, with that said, see you in the next video.